Okay, just going to post a quick update uh, with where I'm at on this uh, Mueller um, generator. This is a replication attempt at a replication done by Romero UK. So, so far I've been having a lot of fun with this project. Um, this will just be a quick update as to where I'm at. I do not have all the uh, all the coils hooked up yet. I recommend you go over to overunity.com and follow along on the thread there to get the full details. But basically we have uh, nine coils and uh, we've got uh, nine on the top, we've got nine on the bottom. Let me just lift this up. You'll see on the bottom I have uh, rectifiers. Anyway, the full schematic, everything is available on uh, overunity.com under the uh, Mueller uh, thread over there. So anyway, recommend you check that out. But anyway, I just wanted to point out a few things here that are kind of interesting. This uh, scope here is just connected to this uh, coil here. It's not through the uh, not through the rectifier. It's just the, uh, the energy coming off the uh, two coils. The coils are connected in series. You have a coil down below and one above. They're connected in series. So you can see the waveform here. What's interesting is the frequency right now at 67 hertz. I'm running on 3 volts input right now and I'm getting 2.6 volts um, off this generator coil here. The top and bottom coils connected here. It comes out to my capacitor and I've got this connected to my voltmeter. So you can see we're at 3 volts in, 2.6 out. What will be interesting is when I increase the speed on this you're going to see that the voltage on the uh, generator coil is much higher than the input voltage. Now, I'm not claiming that the wattage is higher, I'm just taking note that the voltage is higher. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn that up to 12 volts uh, input, bring this up to speed, and you can see what that's like. It's uh, fairly noisy. Um, I've got some loose pieces in here that rattle, so this always sounds like it's going to fly apart when I bring it up to speed. As I button everything down tighter, uh, it will get quieter, but... Alright, let me just... Uh, Turn the voltage up here. You can hear it accelerating. So if you look here in the scope, you'll see the uh, waveform tightening up. We're at 10 volts.
I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's glowing. Let me uh, shade it there. You can see that it's glowing. Again, I'm only connected to one generator coil. Let's see if I can uh, get this in the shade. There you go. Now you can see the light. It's definitely glowing. I expect to, uh, to do a lot better as I connect all of these uh, generator coils. I also need to use a DC light. This is just a 40 watt AC light. Um, I also need to get the, the washers and the magnets in all of these coils. Some people have asked if I'm using a Litz wire. I am. I ordered it from Nebraska Surplus Sales. I think I paid $15 for probably enough to make two or three of these uh, replications. So good deal on the wire. Um, so yeah, we're running here. We've got the load on. You can see the little light. We're running at 345 hertz with the load. So I'm going to take the uh, load off. You see the lights disconnected. The Hertz is staying pretty much the same. 348, 349. We'll connect the light here. So the lights connected back on, and we're at 349. So. These, let me just get a, uh, see what I'm pulling here. I'm pulling about, oh, I don't know, 700 uh, milliamps at 12 volts right now. So anyway, just a uh, quick update of where I'm at. It's a fun replication. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot more to do. I've got a lot more tuning. I've got a lot more to do with adding the uh, posing magnets on the top and also the um, just getting this thing tuned out a little better.